Good morning, guys. Good morning, guys. <laughs> Today, finally, we're going to the Great Ocean Road. The Great Ocean Road, a 240 kilometer scenic drive along the southeastern coast of Australia. This episode will take you on an epic road trip along the greatest coastal drive. I really don't understand how the surfers swimming in the so cold water yeah. in the winter. Traveling between different coastal towns. It feels like American style. You only see this in American movies, right? Yeah, it's so cool. Exploring nature's hidden gems such as the redwood forest. It's a possum. It's not, it's kangaroo. <laughs> Waterfalls and of course some of the iconic coastal landmarks. Before it was 12 apostles, but from what I'm counting, one, two, three, four. So from here to Apollo Bay, which is where our accommodation is, it's gonna be around a three hour drive. So it's gonna be a long ride today. But we're actually off to a late start today because Alina did a dentist appointment. So she couldn't talk much at the moment because she felt very numb. <laughs> now it's actually peak winter of Melbourne, Australia. So it's a little bit cold. That's why you can see, probably you guys are not very used to us wearing long jackets. But anyway, today is a beautiful day. You can see blue sky in the background. Yeah. Just sit back, Can't enjoy, <laughs> and just uh, admire the view with us. Let's go. All right, let's go. So we've got our morning dose of chocolate and now we're ready for the road. So the first up today, we're going to a place called Torquay, which is mostly a summer town because it's famous for its beaches. But for winter, not so much. We're just gonna go there, check out the town, maybe grab lunch there as well. And it's gonna be a, an hour and 40 minutes away from here, which is also the entry point of Great Ocean Road. So yeah, it's around an hour and 40 minutes away until we get to Great Ocean Road and begin our journey. Right, let's go, go, go again. Right. Lunch time. We get some avocado to see from home. Top one is yours. Mm. So the thing about in Australia, you have to get avocados because avocados here are so buttery. It's so smooth. It's basically like butter. You just spread it on bread. It's so nice. It's only like a dollar for each avocado. Mm. Literally, you just spread it with knife. Like Usually, I don't butter. eat sandwich with two layers, so I give it just for free. This is the best layer, you know. In Australia, they have this, and it's the best layer. It's mm. when you put in the toast, it's so crispy. It's my favorite. My mother doesn't like it. I like it. The thing is in Australia, dining out is very expensive. So each person, it's like 20-ish dollar per meal. But you eat at home or like you pack a sandwich yourself, you save a lot of money. After around an hour and a half drive, we've arrived the surfing suburb of Victoria and this place got talkie. One spot in particular that's very famous in Australia, it's surfing just because there are lots of beautiful coastlines here, Gold Coast, yeah there's so many surfing places. Talkie in general is a very popular attraction amongst the locals. People would drive here for the weekend and just spend time Airbnbs. There's so many Airbnbs, good quality ones that you can share with your friends, family. Yeah, usually my family and I plan trips here. Hey, can I get six wicked wings, please? And six nuggets. Thank you. My friends, they always eat wicked wings like this and drive at the same time. Duh, 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 duh. Oh my god, it's so tasty. We want to try? Mm. Yeah, and so juicy as well. Just now we paid 16. $16 for this. It's like a good meal. It's a proper meal. Australians eat this for lunch. nice i like how along the great ocean road there's so many stopover points for your cars and you can just get off the car and admire the view i really don't understand how the surfers 
they are swimming in the so cold water yeah. in the winter. It's crazy. I sometimes in the summertime cannot go to inside the water because for me it's really cold. But oh, it's just crazy. Yeah, but it looks like they're having the best time of their life. I guess because the waves now are super strong. I always love watching surfers. I think they're so cool. And I think what makes Australian landscape so beautiful is also because of the sunlight here. I guess you can say on one side it's very harsh sunlight, but at the same time when it shines on the land, the lighting is just gives atmosphere. This is not even half of the Goshen Road. This is only like the intro of Goshen Road. For the upcoming, say like an hour or two, it's gonna be all ocean view. So just enjoy, relax with us. Next up, we're going to Apollo Bay. Guys, we finally made it to the hardest part of driving in Great Ocean Road, the zigzag part. So as you can see just then, there were lots of zigzag road and some of them were actually, I feel like they were pretty sharp turn to be honest. You had to go under 30 because otherwise you would crash. After the zigzag roads, we were back to the ocean view. I like how this coastline is so long stretching and all the way as you get closer and closer to Apollo Bay, you get to see more of these sea views. So the reception actually calls at 5.30, now it's 6.30. Luckily, they actually allowed contactless check-ins. It was like American style. You only see this in American movies, right? Yeah, it was so cool. And you just like stay in. <laughs> yeah, but all. Oh. There you go. What are you doing? Perfect. Nice. Room number two. Just down. Room two? Room two? Yeah, room two? Yeah, it's so interesting. Nice and cozy. I like it. Let's see bathroom. Mmm, looks, looks so good. Very clean. Yeah. yeah. It looks very clean. Usually mm. motels in America usually it's used for hotel, right? Like America. Mm, but it here looks it's... like a good five-star hotel. Ta-da! So this is where the magic oh. happens. We actually have two beds. Why do we need two beds? We need some heater. It's our own garden. No, I think it's connected. It's shared. <laughs> I think it's very cozy here. Like How it. much it is? It's 206 Australian dollars for two nights. Typically in Australia, like this kind of apartment, you're looking at at least like 120, 150, or even 200 per night. We got a good deal. So it's like 108 per night. So pretty good, I would say. Yeah. yeah. But test. Okay. Whee! It's very bouncy. <laughs> it's very bouncy, <laughs> this one. Okay, good night. <laughs> Oi. Oi. Can we get the mushroom pizza, apple juice, as well as lemon lime and beers, please? So this place is actually called Apollo Bay Distillery. So I'll put the link in the description somewhere. And distillery, so they actually manufacture their own spirits here. You can see all those barrels all around the restaurants. One right there, and then there is another one at the back. All those machines are used for making spirits. If I wasn't driving, I would probably order something alcoholic. Alcoholic. <laughs> Thank you, wow, it's so good. Oh, it smells so good. It's like truffle oil smell. One thing I really like in Australia is the meat pie from here. That's why this morning we decided to go to a local bakery. We actually picked up some packaged meal just there from the supermarket, but I was like, nah, $16 can be better spent. So that's how I decided to uh, come to a local bakery. Yeah. And this one right here, steak and mushroom pie. Australia, their tomato sauce package is like this. How do you use this? Last time Aline opened up like this and it went everywhere. Basically, just bend it half like this. There you go. It, it cracks up in the, open, in the middle and you can squeeze out your tomato sauce. Mm. How's it? Good. It's like a Russian bakery. So close. Really? With taste. Interesting. Good? Mm -hmm.
<laughs> this is basically like a crispy shell. It's like the ice cream cone outside and inside you put whatever chocolate inside. Either sneakers or Twix sometimes. They've got different versions of the supermarket. You have to try this. See, I'm here. Meat sticks with kangaroo meat. I want to try it. <laughs> Yeah, it's kangaroo. It's a possum. It's not, it's kangaroo. It's just not jumping, maybe he's injured or something. <laughs> oh, he looks like injured. Mm. I really love this part to drive because we're actually entering the Great Old Ways National Park so you can see the trees are like national species. I feel like here you're gonna find a lot of wildlife animals here. Just then we saw the kangaroo. I have a good feeling that maybe we can spot some koalas up here in the trees as well. Yay, we're here at the Redwood Forest. Redwood Forest is actually over there, the entrance. So we're gonna pack our bags and we're gonna go. So the name of this forest is actually called California Redwoods, just because some of the species are very similar to the ones in California. We'll show you in a while. So what makes a redwood so special? It's actually the tallest tree species around the world. So see here, you've got a diagram comparing the tallest one compared to Statue of Liberty, which is 93 meters, the tallest one is 150 meters, which is in America. And apparently in this redwood forest here, the tallest one is around 60, 70 meters. But then hopefully in the foreseeable future, in the next 10 years or so, maybe it will beat the one in America. Let's see. Let's see why it is so beautiful. <laughs> Dating Alina always makes me feel like a children again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we always like run around like kids. Yeah, this forest is so beautiful. Especially when you're surrounded by these giants. We call them giants. Usually when tall trees, English people, they say they're giants. You know giants? No. Massive human, like super big human, oh, you know? Like Attack on Titan? Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah, Attack on Titans. Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan. The air is so understand? refreshing. Oh, yo, you interrupt me. <laughs> <laughs> Get over Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan. Here, everything is so quiet. That's why you can actually hear the echo here. If you scream louder. <laughs> <laughs> and now time to taking good photo and video with this beautiful forest. Many of you always ask us, how do you take cinematic B-rolls when you're on travel vlogs, whether it's like at Redwood Forest or anywhere? Well, today we're going to show you our secret weapon, how we normally shoot B-rolls. This right here is the Zhiyun Smooth Fivers Gimbal and it's our go-to gimbal for shooting B-rolls and cinematic shots. The gimbal itself has got 5 different modes, starting with the pen follow mode which the gimbal only follows any side to side movements. This is good for any shots if you want the horizon to stay level but you don't want a camera to tilt up and down. Next, the locked mode, which all the motors are locked. The gimbal will not follow any of your movements so you can run through the forest, playing hide and seek behind the trees, and no matter how much you move, the gimbal will stay facing the exact same way. Next, we've got the follow mode, which is my personal favorite. In the follow mode, the gimbal will follow your sideways and tilt movements. This is good mode for filming in an environment like nature or city, and you want to be able to tilt up and down to capture points of interest. After that, we've got the POV mode, which all three motors respond to your movements. This means you've got full control on the gimbal movements, so just roll your wrist like this as you're filming and the gimbal will turn slowly and smoothly. Lastly, Vortex, which allows you to shoot full 360 barrel rolls. This shot can be used to add exciting dynamic to the shot. So if you're looking up your video shooting game, then check out the link below and grab the Zhiyun Smooth Vibers for yourself. Alright guys, we've just arrived at our second destination today, Hope Town Fort, which is just 5 minutes away from California Redwoods just then. So you just have to take a right turn, then you arrive to Hope Town Fort. So now instead of going to the waterfall directly, we'll just quickly get our lunch breakfast. So today's lunch, we're getting the gourmet potato salad that we got from supermarket for, I think $6. Can't really taste it, I don't think it looks that good, but uh, yeah, alright, anyway, dig in. It's so strange taste. It's like a sour, sweet potato. You I mean, when you open it, it smells really bad already. Because you don't like onion, it's all here is a lot of onion. Oh yeah, that's fine. No, I no thank potato. you. I just put it, just but try, it already has just, onion taste now. Just a little bit, a little bit. I just want. Just just try. <laughs> <laughs> this right here is the worst thing I've ever had in my life. Straight into the bin we go. This is like rubbish. Don't ever get potato salad from supermarkets in Australia. The 
fresh air here. This is why we came to Australia, because Australia, the weather, the air is just perfect. I think it's the best I've ever been. It's the best <laughs> because it's with me. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, everything with Alina is better. <laughs> This is why I love the ocean road, especially this waterfall. It is known to be a photographer's favorite spot. Lots of the most famous photographers I know on Instagram, they came here just to shoot one photo of this waterfall, the long exposure shot. Alina now is in a really good mood. She's in a happy place now. <laughs> Alina's so cute. <laughs> this is the hard part, but uh, it was worth it going down, but now we're climbing up slope again. It's super tiring because I think there are like 50 or 60 steps here, and they're pretty huge as well, I would say. Oi, 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 oi. Are you a koala? Because I didn't eat today, I'm so hungry, no energy. So that's why next stop, we're gonna have lunch. Gonna have like a lunch slash dinner because we're gonna have a late lunch. Is that the nuggets and the uh, wake minutes? Okay, perfect, thank you. So now we're gonna go to McDonald's drive thru and do the exact same thing. We're gonna compare the nuggets. Can I just grab six uh, chicken nuggets, please? Yeah, thanks, mate. Okay, thank you. So, continuing on our unhealthy diet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, let's do a review for McDonald's nuggets and for KFC nuggets. Well, you already tried the KFC nuggets yesterday. <laughs> Okay, based on appearance, McDonald's. see this is the skin is softer, this yeah. is harder. McDonald's much harder, KFC better. But you missed out something because we specially ordered the Big Mac sauce. Try. McDonald's. The ones are like both. McDonald's, McDonald's is so crunchy. I personally like McDonald's more because I like the crunchiness. You think the taste is similar or what? It's similar. Mm. We've made it to our last destination and this place is called Red Rock. It's a perfect place for watching sunset. So let's get out of the car and go to the lookout to show you guys a panoramic view around here. Alright guys, so we're currently going on a solo adventure because it's just too cold out here. Alina decided to stay in the car. I think the wind is going to be even stronger up here. But uh, I remember it's a very beautiful photo spot here. The soil here is completely red. I think that's why hence the name Red Rock. Woo. Wow, look at this. Day through Great Ocean Road, and today we're hitting two of the most famous attractions here on Great Ocean Road: the Twelve Apostles and also Lock Art Gorge. I like today's weather, to be honest. Today's weather yeah, is today looking really good. Yeah, today perfect weather because of sun. Yeah. Finally, <laughs> finally no rain, not too cold. And also, I like how our schedule so far is very spaced out, so it's not like a completely tightly packed itinerary that I have to every minute go to somewhere. But instead, we space out itinerary, so yeah, yeah. it's more chill. <sighs> drive one hour and we are here and a lot of cars too uh -huh. so we need right. to start 12 apostles mm -hmm. 
<laughs> so cool. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> 26. Yeah. We need to buy some souvenirs from Australia, right? Our luggage is not gonna fit. That's the nature of full time travel. We cannot buy souvenirs. But this one looks cute though. See, it's got a jewelry yeah, inside. It's kangaroo. Yeah. I, I, I almost missed this. I like it. <laughs> Now we're actually walking slowly to the lookout point, which is around 15 to 20 minutes away from the car park. So from what I recall last time, it was freezing cold and there was crazy wind because it's near the coastline. That's why this time I'm wearing four layers inside. Alina has got her uh, wind breaker. I have four layers too. What it might seem to be very peaceful at the moment is illusion. Later it's gonna be like... <sighs> You see. Turns out it's not really a 15 minutes walk. It was around like a 5 to 10 minutes and we've arrived 12 apostles and it looks crazy from here. <laughs> yes, super touristy spot here. Especially I think here over there it's a bit foggy, misty over there. So it looks very mystical. So magical, especially when the sun peeking through the clouds. Looks absolutely stunning. Wow. 12 apostles, but now it's not 12 anymore. Yeah, before it was 12 apostles, but from what I'm counting, one, two, three, four. Four apostles, that's it. I think it, if the 10 years later when we come back, it's gonna be one, one apostle. It's like a perfect mix of nature. You've got the mountainside, the cliffs here, and over there you've got the ocean waves, and there's rocks over there. Alright guys, and this is how you can spend three days, two nights here at Great Ocean Road. So for me, I think it's been amazing just because I feel like I'm in the moment while vlogging. So for me, it was fantastic. Yeah, thank you guys for watching this episode and for travel with us together. We really love to share this with you. Maybe next time we're gonna go to a mini van road trip because for me, this is trip, it's showing like everything that how looks Australia. It is really so beautiful. I feel in love in Australia. So I wanna more and more and more next time yeah it gets me really excited i want to yeah. show you guys central australia the deserts new south wales great barrier reefs and many more Ooh. so uh, subscribe now and also we'll be traveling to turkey and many more other countries and other continent as well yeah subscribe now to see more of our travel adventures and uh what's the word for goodbye in australia <laughs> see ya mate <laughs> see ya mate <laughs>